comes out, man. Um, I guess what is, what's the first question? How did you meet Vance? Um, there's definitely uh, many stories to that. You know, a lot of folks know the, the story behind this, um, but I, I don't think anyone really knows it from my point of view. Um, I met Vance at VCU. Uh, you know, we met kind of late uh, my first semester there. I had transferred in from uh, Northern Virginia Community College, and I had joined um, X Factor, which is uh, FAC's flag football team. And uh, I think late in the season, she ended up showing up to practice, and I was kind of mad about the whole thing because we had to, or we were planning to let go of one of our best players to make room for her on the roster. Uh, and I actually made her cry the first time um, she showed up at practice. Um, but later in the season, we had like won a, a really good game or a really competitive game against uh, a rival team, and she had thrown this this party. Um, and I don't know, like something at the party happened, me and her kind of like connected. Um, and throughout the night, I was just kind of like had Vance, I guess, on my mind. Um, and a funny thing is somebody had taken me home, um, like midway through the party and I made an excuse saying that I wanted to go back, um, and basically to go see Vance, but I had to have a reason to go back. So I told the guy that was driving me back to Vance's that I left my phone battery there. I had a Nokia. So I don't know what, what I was thinking there. Like, I don't think that, that, that whole story made sense, but I went back there. I told uh, Vance's older sister I left my phone battery upstairs. And I literally went upstairs, took my Nokia, took the battery off and threw it on the bed. And I was like, oh, here it is. I put it back on and, and after that, Vance was walking her dog and I ended up walking with her um, that night and we kind of talked. I don't know if she remembers it, but I don't know, just that, that, that feeling of walking with her just felt right. And uh, I think I was just curious because like the next day, um, everyone was just like this and that about me and Vance. And I was like, oh, wow, like how come everybody is like talking about, you know, this? Like I, I wasn't, I wasn't um, expecting that. So like, I kind of got curious about, you know, who Vance was. And um, I was at, in business school at the time, and I was never really on campus because I lived right next to the school. But I ended up showing up to uh, uh, the commons at VCU, like, every day, hoping that she would walk by. And sure enough, she walked by, and I got, you know, I got to talk to her again. Um, and that's really how it started. Why did you want to spend the rest of your life with Vance? Oh wow, that is a that's a big question. Um, why do I want to spend the rest of my life with Vance? Um, I think, I mean, sim simply put, I think um, I think I'm happiest with Vance. You know, like um, a lot, I think a lot of people see us as we're we're always together, um, and you know we're never we're never really apart. People when they see Vance, they usually see me, or if they see me, they usually see Vance. I have nothing, um, or there's nothing wrong with that for me. Like, I prefer to be around Vance just because I'm, I'm the happiest with when I'm with her. Um, whether it be, you know, going out, seeing friends, I, I prefer Vance there. Um, and even when, you know, we're apart, like, you know, it's just, it's different. Like, if she has to go home on, on, a, on a weekend to go visit her family, I prefer to go drive with her and go see her family than have to you know, be, uh, without her, um, but yeah, I, and I think also, and this is going to sound a little selfish, um, but I also think that Vance makes me a, a better person, um, like overall, um, I mean, she always looks out for me, makes sure that, <clears throat> you know, what I do is in my best interest, and like, um, yeah, overall, she just, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I like who I am when I'm around Vance, um, and that's, that's, you know, that does sound selfish, but I think it's absolutely true. Um, without her, I'd be a completely different person. How do you expect her to react when you propose? Oh, man. Um, probably how she reacted when I asked her to be my girlfriend. I asked her, um, I think towards Christmas time in Richmond, um, in short pump right in front of the Christmas tree in the middle of the, the shopping mall. Um, I think she knew it was coming, and I basically, and I think she knows it's coming now, I'm sure. I mean, she's been waiting six years, but, um, so she, so I think she's going to just, uh, kind of expect it 
and uh, when when it happens, I don't think she's going to be initially surprised. But I do hope that um, you know what I say in the proposal speech or, or what I say to her directly, um, you know, hits home and 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 she, uh, you know, she feels you know, certain emotions about it. But I don't think she's going to be surprised. She doesn't take surprise as well. You know, I know her too well. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it'd be nice to see that, you know, I I said the the certain things that you know made her feel um, special. Tell me a funny story about Vance. You and Vance, you and Vance. Okay. Um, you said a funny story about me and Vance? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to try not get in trouble here because if I say say the wrong thing, she's going to be like, why did you share that with folks? Um, but let me think here. Um, okay, so there's this ongoing thing with, with me and Vance. Um, when, I'm, when I'm right, I'm always wrong. No matter what, I, she's always right. But there was this one time where it was clearly her uh, her fault, or she was wrong in the situation. So she was coming back from a trip. I don't remember w- what it was. I think it was um, her sister's bachelorette. But she had me pick her up from the airport, and she had me uh, drive to the airport, um, and it was Dulles. So I went to Dulles. She said she was going to be there at, like, 3 o'clock. I don't know the exact time, but... So I, I drive there, and I'm like, I'm here. And she's like, oh, like, I'm over at, you know... Um, door 11 or whatever so I go to that door and I'm like I don't see you um and she was like what do you mean like are you blind and I'm just like whoa 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 like no I'm literally here there's no one here and we're going on for like 10 minutes and she was like are you on the first floor and I was like yes I'm on the first floor so I I double back I go around the airport make sure I'm on the first floor um and we're talking on the phone for maybe 10 minutes and we're just like why can't why can't we find each other and then all of a sudden, you just hear a drop in her voice. She's like, oh, my gosh, I'm at JFK. And I was furious. I was just, I was like, okay, so I'm at Dulles. I got to go to JFK to go pick her up. It's about a 40-minute drive, and I'm going to bite my tongue here and, and just, you know, just bite the bullet and drive there. But the entire time, I was furious driving there. And when I got there, she knew I was pissed. And I think that's the only time where I was actually right. Um, so I thought that was a you know a little funny story to share, but yeah, for the most part, I'm always wrong. <laughs> All right. How about you explain why you bought this specific ring? Uh, okay. Um, I mean, there's you know a hundred reasons why I bought this ring. Uh, you know, Vance definitely shared you know what her styles were, and that's kind of why I arrived at the ring, but. Um, you know, I also know, uh, you know, what Vance likes, um, and we all know, you know, Vance, I mean, for, for lack of a better term, she's bougie. <laughs> um, she likes the best, um, but I, I also think that she deserves the best. You know, she, she told me a hundred times, like, you know, don't spend, you know, too much on a ring, like, um, you know, she definitely was, was, was uh, you know, letting me know, like, don't, don't spend too much on a ring, but, you know, uh, sometimes when somebody says one thing, they really mean another um, and I just know Vance too well, um, but I also want to give her the best and, you know, just, just kick off some, you know, a marriage. Um, I want to start off with the best, um, whether, whether it be the ring, whether it be the proposal, um, I want to make sure that I give it my absolute best because that's going to, you know, spark the, the entire marriage off on a, on a good start. Um, but yeah, mostly because she, I know what she deserves and what, you know, what she means to me. I want to make sure that she... Um, you know, what I give her um, illustrates that. What are your three favorite qualities about Vance? Oh, man. All right, number one's easy. It's the looks. You know, Vance is beautiful. What do you... I, I can't complain. Um, I think the other one is is she's very unique from other girls that I've met. Um, I like the fact, and I think the answer to this is, is she's very family-oriented. You know, I come from a very small family, um, it's just me and my mom, but we're super close, and I thought that was a big, um, big piece to why, you know, I, I was attracted to her. It's like she went home every weekend to go visit her family. I thought that that was very unique, um, and it just kind of showed that she she really cared about family, and that's you know what I want in um, in life is is a family that's close and and uh, and uh, that's definitely a value that that we share. Um, so that's two, and then the third one would be. Um, Vance is fearless. Like, 
I don't know, you know, like it makes me motivated and um, there's not too many people that I, I mean, I, I'll, I'll flat out say I look up to Vance, like she's absolutely fearless, like she went to, she, she, she came up to Northern Virginia without a job, she got a job initially, um, she went to go get her master's and it was just like all this stuff just, you know, she did on her own and I wasn't pushing her, she, she wanted to do it and she got it done and I don't think anyone ever sees like um, on the back end of what she actually does on a daily basis, but you know she's working nine to nine, and I'm seeing it every day. You know, and and that's the thing is like, I you know I want it. Uh, I think it's uh, it's it's special to find somebody that matches you know the hustle that you have. Um, and Vance, you know, I look up to her for that. So that's definitely the third value that you know I see. Would you say Vance is your best friend? Mm, absolutely. And why? Why? Because I'm so comfortable around her, um, and I don't know if it comes with time or what, but like, you know, I can, I can be dumb at home, you know, I can say dumb stuff, or, or, or you know, everyone knows me for dad jokes, but, you know, I'm comfortable saying all this stuff around her, I'm com comfortable doing all, uh, you know, being me around her, and even with my friends, like, sometimes you can't, you know, say certain things, or do certain things, or be a certain way, um, but... Events clearly my best friend just because you know I'm comfortable to the you know absolutely one hundred percent like I can be me around her and she accepts me for who I am and and is not um, deterred by you know my my uh, my flaws. What do you think your life would be without Vance? Oh wow, um, it would it would be a lot. Um, It'd be a lot different, of course. Um, you know, I think Vance, um, or having Vance around has turned me into somebody that I've always wanted to be. I think without her, um, I think before I met her in, uh, in college, my plans after college were to um, travel the country in a, uh, in a van or something like that. Um, but, like, after meeting her and caring about her so much, um, I just want to provide for her, and like that's what's, you know, um, given me the the fuel to test myself and like go beyond um, what I thought I was capable of doing. Like, you know, I think about every every move I make, you know, throughout the day is like for Vance. Like, I want to make sure that you know it's in line with our future goals, like our family. You know, what what I what I see our lives being one day. Like, I want to give you know I want to give Vance the world, um, and and that's. That's the thing is like having her there has changed me enough to um, not just care for myself, but care for her and you know our future life together. Um, and yeah, absolutely. If it, if, it, if I was on my own um, and didn't have to care for anyone else, I'd be I'd probably be homeless because <laughs> I'm 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 super easygoing. You know, like I know I can take care of myself. I'm fine with with. Uh, you know, roughing it, but like with with her, it like motivates me to to be more and do more, and just uh, yeah, be the best I can be. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to say to Vance at this moment, and what would it be? Ah, uh, clearly, obviously, I love you. You know, um, yeah, you know, I love you absolutely one hundred percent. You know, even if I don't show it every day, like everything I think about is. Is, is is revolving around you like every every you know move I make um, I don't take the same risks um, that I would without you just because I want to make sure you know I make it I make it home to you at the end of the day um, and also um, happy anniversary because today is our six year anniversary and I am proposing to you in like 10 days or something like no, no nine days Oh my gosh, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I just want her to know that I care about her so much, and you know, I tell her every day, but you know, sometimes it's, uh, uh, I need to show it more, but you know, I want her to know that I love her so much.